Well, hello, my friends. This is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband. I'm glad you're choosing to spend a few moments with me. And I hope you'll find this video helpful if you're looking for a dessert solution, uh, something to put in your lunch pails for the week or whatever. And I might add that this product freezes beautifully and a large portion of what I'm going to bake today in this recipe video using a 13 by 9 baking dish and a lot of this will be frozen. I did a video once before on this same item and but that's been eight or nine months ago so we're going to revisit it today. Maybe my presentation will be a little better. I don't know, but I hope you'll watch it. Uh, typically, our recipe videos are not as popular as the more prep-oriented videos, but you know what? That's okay, because our diehard friends and the foodies in the group will watch, and we appreciate each and every one of you. So, without further ado, what I am going to make is my date squares. I call them my date squares. It's Michelle's recipe. Um, we're actually going to put a little bit less sugar in it this time than what the recipe calls for. Now, I'm not going to eat any of these. I'm going to be trying to watch my diet fairly closely and I'm not going to be eating any of these, but these are really good. They're tasty. They're not the worst treat for you. The oatmeal, as you know, is beneficial for some things. And the dates are too. There's lots of fiber in them. So they're just a good dessert or a snack treat. And by jingles, they are delicious. One of my favorite treats. But anyway, I'm just going to get at that and I will show you how I put them together. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the... It's the uh, bottom layer and the top layer. It's the same thing, you know, yourself. The dates just go in the center. So stay tuned. I'll set up and show you how I make that. And then we'll cook the dates, put it all together, and get it in the oven. So stay tuned. So I have my largest bowl here. I'm using the one with the nice silicone grippy on the bottom because this is going to be fairly thick. And you have to put some muscle in it to start. So first off, I'm going to put one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour in this bowl. Here I have one teaspoon of baking powder. That goes in. I have half a teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So now I'm just going to whisk them together. And I could have put them all in the same bowl. And if I wasn't making a video, that's probably what I would have done. Or I'd have measured it out right into this one. I guess I pre-measured for the sake of time, right? Now, I've done that. I have three quarters of a cup of margarine here. And I am going to... Mix that in, cut it in, I guess is the term they're using in the recipe. And believe it or not, it's just some stupid little thing that I do. It makes no sense probably. I just covered the margarine with flour and then I'm going to try and get it blended in like that. And I have my oven preheating. I probably don't need to have the oven preheating. Well, I know I don't because I have yet to cook the dates. And that'll take about 10 minutes. So realistically, if I had started doing or started heating the oven at the same time I started cooking the dates, it would have been good enough. So here, as I said, our recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Michelle asked me to just reduce it a little bit for her 
and I've done that. So there is half a cup. And two and three quarter cups of rolled oats. Now these are the large ones. They're not like the quick oats in other words. So you have to take some, I, I, I can use the pastry blender, but with these, if they were the quick oats, they would work pretty good in that, or it would work pretty good. But where they're the uh, slow oats, I guess if they're not quick oats, they must be slow oats, but they're the regular cut ones. It's just as easy to combine them with this. Now, but that's quite well combined, and I'm going to just, because I'm cheap, or as a better word, thrifty. I want all of that margarine and stuff in there. So, this is what I'm going to do. You take half of this and press it into the bottom of the dish and take the rest and sprinkle on the top. So, we'll do that now. Have to kind of guess. These, this dessert is crummy. And by that I mean It crumbs. So I'm going to set that aside and now I'm going to cook my dates and Michelle has asked me and I did it the last time too I used the immersion blender once the dates were um, well cooked and I just really mixed them up but anyway so I'll bring you back into this I'm going to show you the jam mixture I may as well and uh, I have this much left for my topping, which I will just sprinkle on by hand. But anyway, if uh, you just bear with me a moment, I'll cut you back in and we'll uh, cook some dates. In here is basically 500 grams of dates, parnoosh dates, that I've chopped up. <coughs> Excuse me. I chop them up quite small because they just cook faster. And when I was chopping them, when I was chopping them, I chopped them into this, out of the bag and into this. So rather than dirty a different measuring cup, I just measured out a cup of water in this four cup thing, measuring cup. So if you see some floaties in there, it's just dates anyway, part of the dates, so that's okay. It is one cup of water. Now, obviously, Michelle will edit a lot of this out, but I've just turned my burner on. I'm gonna get this boiling. I'm going to stir it pretty steady. And it's going, once it boils, I'm gonna turn it down and cook it until it becomes like a jammy mixture. Then, as I said, I'm gonna take the immersion blender and I'm going to blend them up quite fine and then we put them on the date mixture in the other bowl and put the rest on, the topping on and put her in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes I think it says if I remember. I haven't made these well probably since the last time I made a video. Okay, I have actually turned the burner off here now, but I'm gonna give this baby a little whirl here. And you can see, or maybe you can't see, but that is breaking the fiber down really quite well and it's beautiful so now I just have to clean this up 
and then we'll be ready to put it on the oatmeal mixture. So stay tuned for that. Well, my friends, I experienced a technical glitch and I just lost all of the footage that I just made here. I had showed you the pot of cooked dates and then I just basically bored you to tears showing you me leveling them out in the pan. And as you can see, a few of the oats got picked up. That's perfectly fine. You can see them through the dates. Now I'm going to take this on here, the remainder, and I'm just going to sprinkle it on by hand. And this just gets sprinkled on. You'll see these little clumps there like margarine and sugar. It's good stuff. You didn't really miss much. I just literally dump the dates on and smooth them out so that's all there was there and now you see it I'm going to put it in the oven for 25 minutes I'll check it at 20 but 25 minutes usually is just about right so stay tuned and I will show you the finished product okay my friends some time has passed we made supper and we we ate I've done the dishes and these were in the oven for 25 minutes. You can see that I have cut one piece out of there. And here it is. My hands are spotlessly clean. And there you can see the dates. I told you it's uh, gonna be a little crumbly, a little messy. I'm not gonna try it because one will lead to two and I don't want even one. But I assure you that these are absolutely delicious. Um, Michelle will eat this one later on, she said. She was full from supper, so she would eat this later. And, you know, just to, and I realize this is dirty because this is what I just used to cut this square with. But if you see the size of that bottom from here, that's how big everything that we make, cakes, uh, obviously not layer cakes, but cakes, squares, brownies, anything that's made in a pan like that, that's, when I say a piece, that's what I'm talking about, is the size of that. So what is that? Two inches by two inches. Not quite two inches, but that's a piece. So anyway, uh, I did say what was going in it, so you can watch the video and stop it, write things down, or maybe Michelle will link to the recipe down below, I don't know. But if you want it, we'll give you our recipe. Thank you for watching. If you have indeed watched this far, know that I appreciate you, and uh, I'd like to maybe get a few thumbs up on this video and uh, share it with your friends. You make this, everybody will love you. So bye for now. This is Kevin, the homemaker husband, saying, God bless.